how dare you politicize this tragedy? This is not the time. You can't even weigh into their bodies or in the ground. I've heard that again today. I mean, I knew I would. And honestly, that would be nice. I really like to have that option. I wish I could grieve for every single one of these children. I wish I could give all of them the personal attention they deserve. I like to spend time teaching, I'm sorry, telling each and every one of their stories in great detail to find out what they love to do. Find out what they like, that they like McDonald's. Find out if they like the Marvel movies. Find out what they wanted to be when they grew up, if they want to be cops or scientists. I like to see their pictures on the wall if they have, if they have rock stars or pop stars or boy bands on their bedrooms. I like to know who their secret crushes were. I want to know what their first pets were, if they, had, if they won goldfish at a state fair. I want to learn the idiosyncrasies of that only the people who knew them well understand. I wish I could talk to their parents, their best friends, their, fa their grandparents, their favorite grandparents, so I can understand the lives that were, uh, they were lived enough to utilize them properly. I like to stop and tell, to try and let us catch our breath from something completely heartbreaking. But that's the problem. There is no time. There isn't, there isn't the time to wait until all the bodies are in the ground. Because by that time that happens, there's going to be another shooting. And another. And another. And another. Maybe not this week, but the next month. The next year. The next 10 years. This is the stunning re regularity of death in this country right now. By the time we mourn them, there'll be more students at school, more shoppers at a supermarket, more church-going members, more people in the theater, in the movie theater, more people at a concert, more tourists in another city, or just some simple people in the street to grieve over. There'll be more hallways riddled with bullets, more terrifying cell phone video taken by young people whose classrooms have become war zones, or worse still, parents of those kids in that war zone screaming at police officers to help. More breaking news on CNN, ABC, NBC, Fox News, ONN, Newsmax, all over the country of an active shooter. More frantic texts from parents or sons, brothers and sisters, family members that won't be returned. And by the time we had a chance to grieve and bury the children that were killed today, there'll be more dead children tomorrow. And on that terrible day, just like today, you'll tell me this isn't the time. You'll chastise me again for being insensitive. You'll again feign offense and outrage and accuse me of politicizing a tragedy. You'll pretend that you actually give a damn about the memories of these children and the pain of their families or the fact that kids are again huddled together in cafeterias or gymnasiums or classrooms. Why you tell me again it's too soon to talk about how wrong this all was. And the time you scolded me to wait silently through? Millions of dollars will flow directly from the NRA and other gun activists to the very politicians charged with protecting these children who will die. In that time of silent waiting, Gun advocates 
will generate every false narrative in the world to blame the carnage on a person of color, an immigrant, or liberals, or the fact that your conspiracy theory that God is outside the classroom. All to put culpability somewhere else, anywhere but where it belongs, with weak gun laws that let things like this happen. In the time you're telling me to be silent, people will easily buy guns, assault weapons, and plan the next atrocity. While the ne people who love and sell and profit from guns try to wash their hands off the blood that is on them from dead children. In the time it takes to properly grieve and mourn these children the day, you have forgotten about them. You have moved on. This will be yesterday's news, fade to the black. The nightmares of this day will be replaced by another round of terrified teachers of the squad parents to being towards schools of hollow thoughts and prayers from politicians and gun nuts policing my outrage and doing nothing else. By the time we bury these sons and daughters, there'll be another set of bodies awaiting the grave. Before these wounds have healed, there will be more wounds inflicted, and you'll be there again to tell me this isn't the time. Well, the hell with that. This is the time. This is the time because this isn't normal. This is the time because kids are not supposed to die in a school. This is the time because we have a gun problem in this country, regardless of how many gun nuts say that we don't. This is the time because half our government is in bed with the gun runners. So yeah, we agree. These children deserve to be properly eulogized, deserve to be rightly remembered, but they also deserve to live. And the children who are going to die tomorrow deserve to live too. I care about them enough not to wait. I will not wait until they're no longer radiant young lives, but bodies ready for the grave. For them, now is the motherfucking time.